so welcome to the second part of the Abgas grammar. I want to proceed with a plane which is parallel to this one and there's 55 millimeter distance yes and maybe another one parallel as well to this lane and distance should be 269 okay now I need a sketch on this plane and I want to include these edges okay and then I need a sketch profile about the size and I need some fillets with 10 millimeter radius one here, one over here, right here and right there. Give it the dimensions. Okay. Then I need a construction line in the middle make it perpendicular and add some more dimensions this one should be for one plus six four this should be for one plus eight four point five this should be six four point five and I might need this curve so I can make a dimension between this pierce point and that center point which is 22.25 and yeah that's it close the sketch finish it and make an extrude Select from sketch this one, this one, this one, and that one. Accept. Make it 10 in that direction and finish. And I could hide this sketch. Okay. Then I need another one right here. This should be a rectangle, yes, which looks something like this. I need fillets again with 10 millimeter radius right here right there and finally here then give it some dimensions from yes maybe I hide this body and 
try to get the center of this one, which is almost impossible, seems to me. That's great, so hmm, just take these, make it 90, 90, and 90. Then I need a circle by three points, would be great, but I do it in a different way, just make it on this one. Size doesn't matter right now, make it for construction. Then I could move this. Right here and make this circle tangent to that one, to this one and to that one. So now it's centered and let's take a look. I want to have an angle between this plane and that side, so if it doesn't want to go to angle, I force him to go to angle, and this should be 105. Yes, close the sketch, show the body. Yeah, and I could include, of course, this as well. So I go back to the sketch and I will include, I just draw a circle. Just edit the profile and Add a circle with, make it bigger and give it a dimension. Dimension should be 48. Close the sketch. Now make an extrusion. Accept it, make it 10 in that direction, confirm it and finish it. So it seems there is still a small problem. I forgot to dimension the fillets. That's 10. This is 10 as well, and that one over here is also 10. Close the sketch, finish it. Yes, that's more like it. Now let's add some holes. So I go for hole, I want to have a hole on this face. The whole options should be millimeter and diameter should be 10. Okay, now I could try to catch the position center and I could do it in one or I could make one and make a circular pattern. Doesn't matter, whatever you prefer. I close this sketch. They should go through at least to next in that direction and finish. Okay, then I lead a whole lot more over there. 
and I just noticed I missed one dimension in this sketch for this protrusion should be this one so I will edit the profile yeah I missed one I need a distance between this and that and this should be 82 so now it's centered yes that's more like it okay some more holes on this plane and the whole options again millimeter diameter is 10 then select this center point that center point this one and that one then I might need one about here one here one here and one here give it some dimensions from this one to that one it should be 64 this should be 84.5 that's correct this should be 82 and this might be 64 that's okay and this should be 84.5 okay I can close this sketch make it through next in that direction finish it and I'm done so I hope you enjoyed the second part of this tutorial and see you next time bye bye